Well, it is not. Character is like smoke. It will always out. And character is what you do when no one is looking. So you can look at how people have conducted themselves. And you can see those who are principled. And you can see those who use principles as excuses. Let me ask you, and let's gauge the support that um, the Obidati or the Labour Party movement is getting today. For example, the Afeni Ferry leaders, or the Afeni Ferry as a group, how much of vote command do they have? How do you count votes? They constitute a moral authority. You know, one of the best writings on leadership, by the way, uh, by the great James McGregor Barnes, the ultimate book, Leadership, uh, talks about moral authority as the essence. And he talks about the intellectual as a leader, for example, and he talks about moral authority. Afeni Perry has moral authority. And when you combine that moral authority with the fact that they've been able to build a very clear alliance with Pandev, with the um, Middle Belt, for, for, and together they have been speaking on this matter along with uh, Ohaneze Ndibu, you, you will see that there is a certain uh, body of opinion in Nigeria, these are major stakeholders, who say this is what is principled, this is what is right. It seems to be can, some kind of a Milokan principle too. Well, I don't know what you say. Yesterday it was okay in Milokan when it was Jonathan. And, oh, in Milokan, you know, it was okay. But if it's a Milokan this way, I mean, if there's any Milokan that is wrong, it is the Milokan of a Milokan. Because Kukon. That's your friend, Bolatino. Yes. How do, I mean, how do you think that is not his turn? Why is, it, why is this his turn? What about the other people in Nigeria? Both of you have worked together to... We will to, work to, together any day if it is for the good of the people. But you don't think his ambition this time around is for the good of Nigeria? I don't think so. What do you think? First of all, I, I'm very honest with you. Okay. I mean, it's not a, I'm not a secret. I would not be seeking public office at this age. And if you see, I told my children, if after my 70th birthday I'm running around and this is... Here's a paper. Tell the people that, look, our father has a retrogressive distance. We want to confine him. Certain things are good for certain times. Just a personal principle. I'm not saying it has to apply to everybody. But our country has suffered so much from having alien leaders. And that was why I can say that here. That was why the vice president stepped up because he thought that there was a challenge to that principle in that direction. Hmm. And you think, aside the vice president of Shibajo, another person on that bill probably is not fit. Is that what you think? On which bill? I mean, you, you're definitely talking I, 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 about the APC now. Yeah, I was talking about the vice president. And you mentioned in that terms of Tinubu being, as, a, as a president. Being very fit and all of that, the vice president would have been a fit person. When you say you Tinubu know? is not fit, what do you mean by that? Come on. In what sense? Physically, you can see he's alien. Come on, let's not kid ourselves. You can see it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's be honest. But it says he's fit. His party says he's fit. The campaign says he's fit. They think so. American presidents go through medicals that are made public. Let him go through a medical with Nigerian doctors that's made public. Sure. It's the lives of millions of people we're dealing with here. Okay. For Peter Obi and the support base, what gives you the confidence that this time around, Peter Obi can be an elected president of Nigeria? Does he, ha does he have the, the, so the requisite support that can win him a presidential seat in this country? First of all, you, you miss a trend going on worldwide. 
Okay. And let me tell you about that trend. Italy has just voted a far-right prime minister. Why? Italians are fed up. Zambia. For the first time since the World War II. Absolutely. Zambia showed the fed upness of the people when they elected their current president. Kenya showed that they were tired of the order, existing order. I think politicians should learn something that the people have had enough of politics that does not work for them. The people in Nigeria are really angry. And if politicians misread it, if they try to divide Nigerians, as many of them are, are trying to do, uh, you know, they will pay the price down the line. I have on this show in the past referred to Robert Kaplan's coming anarchy. The truth about the matter is that the youth of Nigeria, I was, I was watching something on, on pensions just today, and how there's so much withdrawal from the pension scheme in Nigeria, and what's the cause? Nigerians are leaving the country, and as they're leaving, they're withdrawing from the pension scheme. So there's such a momentum of Nigerians exiting Nigeria that a politician that thinks it doesn't matter that the people are fed up with the political...